Well, it's been hard work. You might just struggle with some of the uh, conditions. Finally paid off. This is the first morning we got here last night. It's me and John Boy at Wildebeest. We got here last night and it was dark. Well, we had a little bit of light just in time to walk round. We've done a couple of laps, see if we could find any fish. Not a thing, um, but we carried on looking right up until it was dark. Then we uh, got the gear out of the car, got it down to the swims, 
picked pretty much the first two swims we came to, felt good enough for the night, and literally threw the rods out with pop-ups on, a couple of Ronnie rigs, a Chod rig, nothing special, different colours, just give it a go. Uh, first thing this morning, uh, I was up early enough, well before first light, and I had a wander and I see one fish jump in the swim I'm in now. So it's, it's a little bit of a journey, but one over the back from here, there's one fish jump out, nice mirror, three times on the same spot, bush, up, down, up, down. Um, so that, that for me was enough to go straight back, take the rods out and, and bring one round to him, flick it over there on the, on the chance. So I've got it over there on the spot, just on the, on the, again on the Ronnie rig. And within about 20 minutes, half hour, I had another one jump real close in to my right hand margin. So with that, the decision was made that I was moving. Uh, it was about 8 o'clock this morning, 7, 8 o'clock this morning. And basically since then I've shuffled all the gear around to this swim which is where I am now. The problem with that is it did decide to rain all while I was moving my stuff around, so it's been a bit of an arduous task, but I'm settled now, rods are out, baited up the spots. Come off the pop-up rigs now. As I said, it's not very deep in here, but the one over the back, up right over the back, you could feel that go down, nice dog, um, exactly where the fish showed. So I'm happy with that. I've been round a little bit amazing now. Some boilies. The old VNF from uh, XL Bates has gone out. And that is over there on a combi rig. A little pop up, a little shot underneath it. Lovely. Got one down to the right where I see the other fish uh, jump. That's on a little wafter. Uh, it's literally underarm flick, little stick. Uh, some boilies over the top of that. Again, some maize has gone over the top of that because I know they get fed in here. And with the left rod, I've practically I've done exactly the same with the left rod. That's gone to the left hand side. Again, I can feel a little bit of a, a bit deeper now. Um, and again, a bit of maize, a few, few boilies, and again, another waft of the stick is out now. The rain has stopped. We are due a little bit more, even though it wasn't due any for, for most of the day today. But, well, so yeah, right at the minute. Settling down, John Boy's round the corner, still in the original swim he was in, he's fishing close in I think. Um, unfortunately he's going to have to go at some point later today. Uh, was hoping to stay until tomorrow. But I'm here till tomorrow and well, we'll see how Harry goes. I'll try and stay as late as I can. You know, to nick him one of these fish because they're all stunned. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. You would have seen it on the Nash video. 
trying to get the mobile one. Yeah, mate. <laughs> I say, I don't mind it. I know tomorrow it's going to be dry, sunny, everything will dry out. It might make it boggy walking up to the car, but not to the van, shall I say. It's no problem. It looks really weird for some reason, that water. Mm -hmm, yeah. Do, yeah, do me head in slightly, it's like, woo. I've got to do that rod. Oh yeah, quickly get that camera and take a picture of that, that rainbow there. Rainbow. Cool. Cameras are wearing me. Yeah, Lenses well, everywhere. I'm just trying to do like, you know how they, it's the same. Same video but from different angles. But every now and then you cut from the other angle, like, just thought I'd try it out like that. Horses going mate. Right? So John boy, what's happening? You ain't been on video for ages. Not a lot to be honest mate. Where are we? What are we doing? Bentley fisheries. I'm only doing 24 hours now but you are like you're doing your 48 but it's a bit quiet at the minute. Nothing really going on, not much showing. Uh, uh, I've seen a couple of bits of movement which you're fishing to at the moment. But it was dark right last night, wasn't it? Dark when we got here, to be fair. Yeah. Just chucking stuff out in the dark, so a bit of hit and hope, really, but just hoping that nothing's, nothing's graced in that yet. Bit of rain as you were expecting, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's been a bit crap weather wise, but had a nice boaty earlier, didn't you? Yeah, it's got me boats as well. <laughs> <laughs> Always yeah. forget something though, you can't I can't go what any time ever and not forget something. And they're not the best trainers to be no. <laughs> getting muddied up. <laughs> Might as well wear a couple of towels on my feet. <laughs> yeah, well uh well, great, it was a little bit boggy. But yeah, I'm just sticking my spots at the minute, just baited up a little bit earlier, but just open really. I'm tying it up, dynamite bait, but which I'm sort of giving a go at the minute. But, uh, nothing seems to be happening, a couple of knocks, but it's great. What rig are you using? Uh, I've got one on a Ronnie and just one on a normal bottom bait, just a blowback. I wish I'd always have one on a bottom, but I don't seem to be doing much at the moment. I'm saying that though, it's the one that had a few knocks on it earlier. Yeah. The bottom one, yeah. What gear you got Deception? Yeah. Yeah, I've got the Deception, right, like pre-made Ronnie rigs. Oh, you've got pre-made ones? Yeah. Down here again, maybe with uh, a bit of makeup, like a mix, like a uh, party mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
It'd be nice to do a session with a few of the boys on here, wouldn't it? Yeah. Three or four of us, like, you know. Well, you could take up all this bank then, couldn't you? Yeah. You could have one up in the point, point about then. You've got these two here and them other two. Yeah, not. Knock the double bunker out, leave yeah, that out, and then just fish this from one bank. Yeah, yeah. That bank. plenty of features to fish to, though. It's spread out nice as well, though, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? None of the swims. I mean, I know this is opposite the double bunker there, but they're all kind of positioned yeah. in a good way, aren't they? Yeah, You've I mean, got plenty of water. You're probably fishing free rides might be a bit of a struggle in them too. Yeah, maybe. But these ones, I mean, especially that one up there, that's perfect three rods up there. Well, the point one, yeah. one up at the top, yeah. Even the other end as well, they're both good for three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mate. So what's next on your... What was we talking about? What's next on your shopping list for fishing gear? Because you're still fishing from the 80s. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Still using oh, new mat. everything you had from like 20 years ago. New mat, new rods, new reels. Uh, I've been thinking about a boat now. A boat? Yeah. A boat would be nice on here. Could a boat would be perfect, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah, it would work nice. Put the right in under the snakes and that. It's a thing though, the boat, it's not, it's not a thing you take to every venue, is it? You know what I mean? No. It's, it's venues like these where you want to slot. You know what I mean? Drop your lead under a tree, or yeah. without the risk of dropping, it, like planting it straight in the overhanging branches. So you just get it. over that. You'd get under it. Dropping from a boat as well. Yeah. Be slightly softer than casting it. Maybe yeah, it's right, yeah. Know, Where it ain't so deep over here. You know what I mean? Your lead will drop a bit softer then, I suppose. Yeah. But uh, you can get, at least get your bait over, straight over the top of the rock. In it for a boat, it's like. Can you warrant paying out the sort of money for a good boat? I know you can pick up the cheap ones, but yeah. a good boat, but then only use it a couple of times a year. Or yeah. if you go to France or places like that, yeah, you can you can use it. And there's a few, obviously, like if you book this yeah. out, you could use it. But the majority of the time, I mean, you've never had a boat, you've never had no, no problems without it. But like you say, I think it would give you a slight advantage on, especially such places like this. Yeah, like you say, you probably can use it all the time, but. I think priority. Over there, over there, yeah. Over there I think priority for you though is definitely a mat. Yeah. <laughs> you need a new mat. mat Everything else works, doesn't it? Everything mat, else is usable. I'll yeah, fix the net. Sew the net up, boy. Yeah. Rods are still holding out alright, but they're a bit old now. Bit of a change up. Like a bit yeah, you hopefully you'll have new rods soon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, get him bogging it up. <laughs> Battery's gonna run low, so give Mr. Pickles a kiss. Where are we at? We're in the bears or what? No. Well, we didn't come out up here, did we? I haven't got a bear fish. You can sit next to me, though. <laughs> <laughs> How'd I stay there? <laughs> Good old Mr. Pickles. Need to get us a fish, though. That's what we need. Yeah, his luck's not his luck's not happening. He's meant to be lucky for us, but he's not working at the minute. Right. What time are you going to stay till? I don't know. I'm going to see through till tomorrow. I'll try and stay as late as I can, really. Try and. It depends if I've had fish or not. I'd like to capture some fish, but at the same time. Ah, oh, what? Stay in the bottom of your boat. Was it on the rod? Yeah, literally right on the rod. Oh, mate, you don't realise how much I'm dying to get a picture of a kingfish on my rod.
well, second morning and very quiet once again. Uh, time's about quarter past eight in the morning. I've been up since about half past five and I've walked up and down, I've done some videoing, I've done some pictures and stuff. And um, Although it's not freezing cold, it is a little bit chilly, especially on the hands when you're trying to do video and holding cameras and stuff. But it's not too bad, I'm not even putting my coat on, so I guess that says it all. Um, yeah, I've, I've walked up and down the bank a few times looking for bubbles, signs of fish, anything. I'm not seeing a bean. Um, not had a single touch on the rods. <sighs> it's pretty much been like that since the time I've been here. It's, it's not an easy lake. They do hide themselves away. I mean, the only signs I see was the reason why I moved into this swim. So I've had one on both spots where I've seen both the fish that I see move, and nothing. It's had a bit of bait on there. Yeah. Not happening. Sun's getting up. It's not to see the colours in full, full go. Oh, well done. Oh. Yeah, and the battery's about to run out on the video camera, so I'm here to about mid-afternoon, two, three o'clock maybe. I'm going to pack everything away by then, and then I want to go around and do some photos. Uh, it's meant to be sunny all day today. Hopefully I can capture some nice pictures, show this place off, because it's gorgeous. Like I say, six years since I was last here, doing the uh, original diaries, but it's matured a lot tree-wise is stunning, colour-wise, <clears throat> especially this time of year, it's beautiful. So I'll try and capture a few photos, hopefully there might be fishing amongst that, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I've left the charging lead for the, for the camera batteries, or the camcorder batteries, indoors. Um, and I've got two batteries, one's gone, where I've been doing some time lapses and stuff, so I'm going to turn this off now. Hold on till 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Hopefully, we can nick one still. And hopefully, there might be a little bit of battery left to capture it if I do. down the lake you can't moan when you spend it in a place that is so beautiful um, 
So yeah, I've just arrived home. Uh, packed up fairly early, not early early, but fairly early, and walked around, did some pictures before I left. Hopefully I've captured a few shots. But um, yeah, Bentley Fishery. Been a while since I've been there. Enjoyed every minute of being there again. Stunning colours, beautiful time to be down the lake anywhere, but down there it's just pure estate lake. Uh, fish weren't giving, giving themselves away. Gonna have to try again. Definitely gonna have to try again. Wicked place. Um, just phone up and book on midweek, weekends. It does only sessions really, so if you're looking at doing 48s, you and four buddies or, or four years, and you want somewhere idyllic, out of the way, quiet, no one's allowed to walk around the lake while you're there. Uh, the swims are spaced out perfectly, so everyone's got plenty of water. And it's a challenge, but the challenge is worth it, it always is. So Bentley Fishery, check it out. Get yourself booked on.